Configurations allow the creation of multiple variations of a part or assembly with varied dimensions and geometry. As we begin to learn how to leverage variables within configurations, it's important to understand the distinction between parametric variables and configuration variables. The variables that we have learned about up to this point have all been parametric variables defined within a part studio or within a variable studio. Parametric variables and configuration variables are often used to achieve the same result. The goal of variables is to link a number of dimensions or parameters to a single value and to update that linked value as the design evolves. Their distinctions can be broken down to a few key differentiators. The location of the two types of variables affect how they drive the design. Parametric variables exist as features and are shown in the feature list. Configuration variables appear above the feature list within the configuration selector. This is because configuration variables serve as a configuration input. Configuration inputs allow specific dimensions or feature parameters to vary from one configuration to the next. The most common configuration input, as well as the default, is a list. The list consists of each named configuration with the names of the configurations populating the first column. Each subsequent column contains a dimension or feature parameter that varies from one configuration to the next. When inserting the part studio into an assembly, a drop-down list is displayed to select the desired configuration. A configuration variable is another form of configuration input. Rather than selecting the desired named configuration from a drop-down menu, an input field is displayed, allowing the variable's value to be defined. As a side note, it's possible to combine multiple configuration inputs, such as a list and a configuration variable. To create a configuration variable, select the configuration panel from the right side of the screen. At the top of the tab, there is a button with a drop-down arrow labeled Configure Part Studio. Expand the drop-down menu and select Configuration Variable. The type must be defined as either a length, angle, integer, real number, or text. A name and default value is specified, as well as an allowable range within a minimum and maximum value. As an exception, the text type variable does not have an allowable range. Once the variable is created, dimensions or parameters may be assigned to it. As an example, let's create a configuration variable, configured length. Going back to the original sketch, we'll set the length equal to the configured variable by right-clicking and choosing set to configured length. We'll also drive the width with this configured variable and enter configured length times two-thirds for its expression. Now, a configurations field appears above the feature list, and a value for configured length can be entered to view the effects on the model. When inserting the parts of this part studio into an assembly, a field for the configured variable shows below the name of the part studio, and a value is defined for that instance. This is another key differentiator between parametric and configuration variables. A parametric variable may only be modified from the part studio where it was created. Any changes carry through the rest of the part studio, as well as any assemblies that contain the part. The value of configuration variables can be modified not only within the part studio, but also within assemblies that contain the part. Any resulting changes are evident in that respective assembly but not all assemblies that contain the part. Another difference between parametric variables and configuration variables is how they handle expressions. Parametric variables may contain mathematical or logical expressions and even reference other variables. Configuration variables cannot accept an expression or reference another variable in their definition. They only allow a user inputted value. As we saw with the configured length variable, however, configuration variables can be included in an expression, whether in a sketch dimension, feature parameter, or definition of another variable. 
Both variable types have their advantages and disadvantages. It comes down to the design intent and how you'd like the variables to influence that design intent. In general, parametric variables give more flexibility, as well as allow expressions and references to other variables. Configuration variables serve best when the value of the variable should define the variance in the design to achieve a family of parts, and the configuration variable is input at the assembly level.